the perfect candidate for the perfect picture? Well, of, uh, of course, you, you have to remember I was an immigrant. Uh, I'd come to the country in 49, and uh, nine years later I met this man, the future president of the United States. Tremendous privilege. And he was gracious, and he had this uh, tremendous uh, sense of uh, uh, democracy, a tremendous wit, and he was totally open. And over the years, uh, I became a fly on the wall, and there was this trust. And whereas people think it's Hollywood, it wasn't Hollywood. It was just a tremendous uh, openness. Very nice. It was receptive to what I was doing. So well, let's take a look at some of those marvelous pictures now. Uh, and perhaps you can uh, describe uh, the airport scene. Well, that was uh, actually, uh, it became his favorite photograph. Uh, in an earlier book, I, uh, which I asked him to sign, he went through the book and he jabbed his finger at that photograph and he said, nobody remembers that today, meaning that there were two people to meet him. And this was during the campaign? This was late uh, 1959. The campaign was on, yes. Okay, let's look at this one. Loneliness again. They're in a, a coffee shop somewhere. Well, of course, it's inconceivable that he'd be in this coffee shop in Oregon where no one would turn around and look at Jack or Jackie. Uh, six months later, they were the coast of the world. But it also uh, illustrates the, 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 the loneliness of the campaign, which is true today. And now, a very special moment. LBJ, I believe, has just accepted the, the vice presidential he's, uh, he's nod. He's in the process of accepting the uh, nomination, yes. You were there when JFK and LBJ were discussing that. Yes, yes. Uh, LBJ was very nervous. He was a man bigger than life, um, astounded by Jack, to whom, who was bigger than life to him. Right. And uh, he kept going over the sideboard and pouring some more bourbon. And yeah. uh, he was very nervous. And then he said, yes, I want to just move you along because okay. we want to see as many of your photos uh, as possible. The family waiting that, for the returns. That was uh, the day after election day, the Wednesday morning, 11, 11 a.m. Okay. And here, well, there we are. We're back to the family. Have, uh, does he know uh, he's president that would, No. Something that wouldn't happen today. Uh, our lead had gone from two million to a hundred thousand. Uh, John Chancellor had predicted a uh, sweep, a Nixon mm -hmm. sweep. And that's the nervousness of that old, you could uh, eat it. And here he's just received some bad news. He's got a call there from uh, Ally Stevenson uh, that Patos Lumumba uh, was uh, assassinated. Uh, and here uh, you have a very angry president. Uh, right. He was the never... look in his eye. We have uh, about 30 seconds here. He's... He, was, he was never plastic. Uh, his, uh, his emotions always were uh, very uh, close to the surface. Uh, he, uh, he told you what he thought. I want to thank you very much. I wish we had more time. The book is The Kennedy Legacy, and you heard it from the photographer. Thanks very much for coming in. Thank it's you. Well, Hollywood depicts drinking.